Over the past week, we've seen a big increase in gas prices across West Michigan. Michelle DeSelm spoke with Patrick DeHaan from Gas Buddy to find out what's causing the spike at the pump. We have certainly seen a big shock at the pump these last couple of days. Yeah, that's right. Gas prices across West Michigan late last week, jumping up to 3.39 a gallon for those keeping score at home. That is the highest price that we've paid in 2021. It's also the highest price we've paid since 2014. So, uh, quite a few of these uh, high water marks are coming down as oil prices now also at their highest since 2014 at about $81 a barrel. So that's the connection. That's what's causing this spike. Well, that's what's causing the spike. The question then is, well, what's driving crude oil prices up to their highest level in seven years? And a lot of that remains challenges due to COVID. Now, at the onset, you'll remember back in the early days of the pandemic when we were cheering that gas prices dropped to $1.30 a gallon. Well, oil companies were busy letting thousands of workers go and shutting in oil production as quickly as they could. Now that things have recovered, demand is up. But oil companies struggling to bring that production back online. We're still about 2 million barrels a day of oil production lower than where we were prior to COVID. And now in the last couple of weeks to really cause prices to soar is kind of a looming energy crunch uh, that's developing in China with China starting to uh, uh, require rolling blackouts because of low coal inventories. And of course, in Europe, a natural gas shortage is driving prices up there. What does that have to do with oil? Well, both of those instances, crude oil can actually be used to produce heat and electricity. And so uh, there is a threat that oil demand will go up even faster than what we've seen this summer. So we're not seeing any anticipation of relief anytime soon. It's not looking like it. Um, you know, even as late as August, I would have expected that prices would go down and fall because that's what's happened every year. But in the last, call it six weeks or so, what's been ongoing overseas has been driving oil prices up against what we usually see seasonally, which is falling prices. All right. Well, not great news, but we certainly appreciate your insight.